Welcome to a bonus episode of Mini Air Crash Investigation. I make bonus episodes when I find a really interesting incident, but I don't have a whole lot of information on it to make an entire episode. And let me tell you, today's incident is as interesting as they come. Today we're going to be talking about Northwest Airlines Flight 5. This was a Boeing 727 that was flying from Miami International Airport to Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport with 139 people and 6 crew members on board. The Boeing 727, the plane that they were flying, is what's known as a trijet. It has 3 engines at the back, 2 mounted on either side of the airplane and 1 mounted in the tail. This information will be important later. The plane took off from Miami at 8.15 a.m. on the 4th of January 1990, about an hour late. And at 9.10 a.m., the pilots reported hearing a loud bang towards the rear of the aircraft. The crew heard the loud bang, but they did not have any problems controlling the airplane, and no major structural damage to the plane was observed. The crew of the airplane noticed that engine number 3, the engine on the right side of the airplane, was no longer providing any thrust. They shut it down and they declared an emergency and opted to land at the nearest suitable airport. The 14-year-old jet continued to fly normally for about 15 minutes more before carrying out a safe emergency landing at Tampa International Airport at 10 a.m. Once on the ground, they realize what has happened. Engine number 3 hadn't shut down. Engine number 3 was missing altogether from the airplane. They just landed with two engines. Going over the radar returns of the plane flying at 35,000 feet, they can see the engine separating from the aircraft, and the Navy sets out to hunt for the missing engine. It takes them a day, but they eventually do find the missing engine. After landing, inspection crews found the forward lavatory external seal was missing and had probably been improperly installed, causing a leakage when the plane was pressurized. The missing seal caused frozen chunks of lavatory fluid to be ingested by the number 3 engine, thus damaging the compressor blades. But how does that explain the missing engine? A few bits of ice into the engine cannot rip the engine off from the airplane, but as it turns out, this is by design. The engines on the 727 are designed to break away from the airplane under extreme stress, so the vibration will not damage the airplane. The engine is designed to separate cleanly without damaging the airplane. I find this incident very interesting because something as simple and small as a small unfastened seal on a lavatory of all places was able to inflict this much damage on a plane. I guess if it can happen, it will happen. I hope you enjoyed this small episode of Mini Air Crash Investigation. Thank you for watching this episode.